to my channel my name is charmaine if this is your first time visiting thanks so much for stopping by if it's not your first time visiting thanks for sticking with me thanks for kicking it with me for these couple of years i appreciate you okay so today we are going to do a must request a video a lot of people in my group have been asking me to um do some more embroidery okay so you know about my group my group is called brown girls craft with cricket we do a lot of different things in that group so check us out if you want to join make sure you answer all the questions do um, be a member of that group also um check out my etsy page charming Girl boutique number two if you don't want to do these designs if you don't want to design your own items let me personalize them for you okay so again that's charming Girl boutique number two i put everything behind in the um, description bar below and forgive me there's a lot of things going on in my background i'm printing I'm cutting stuff with my cricket, so you might hear the cricket in the background, and you might also hear, well, I know you're gonna hear my fire, um, my smoke alarm going off because I need to change the battery, and I know that, so please don't <laughs> come for me in the comments. I can't get it because I'm too tall to reach it, so yes, it's gonna beep until I get it fixed tomorrow. Okay, so thank you. I am trying to, I will be staying safe. I will be getting it fixed. Okay, I'm going to be embroidering a shirt for my son. So this is the materials that we're gonna need and let me go ahead and show you what we need. First of all, this is what I'm going to be doing for him. Um, it's a rapper, he passed away and he likes his music, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on his shirt so he could be a cool kid, I guess. Um, <laughs> and on here, I basically put this out. When you would get this sheet with the, um, with the um, file, I use a PES file for my embroidery machine. And on here, tell you what colors you need, tell you the, um, all the other stuff until y'all know about this stuff over here but i know i go by the colors okay so it tells you it has the different shades here okay and i just find out the shades i want by looking at the picture okay so i see i'm gonna be using a gold for this so this is gonna be this color for this this thread but his hair i'm gonna be using black his eyebrows his mustache everything you see black i'm using this black um the silver in his hair it's like a blue silver i'm gonna try it i'm probably gonna change it well that, that still look good it's gonna be for his hair little silver gray in his hair um, the brown for his skin, the brown for his um, hair. I'm trying to think of which brown I'm going to use for his skin and hair. I'll think about that in a minute also. And also the white. I'm going to use this white for his shirt and for his eyes. Okay. So those are the threads I'm going to be using. It tells you right me how many threads you need and everything. And also on the file, it tells you when you start embroidering, it tells you how many minutes this would take to get done and how many um, changes, how many thread changes. It'll tell you all that, but I'll get to that in a minute. You're also going to need um, some pattern stick, temporary adhesive, any type of um, temporary adhesive that you need, you can use. I'll put this below in the description bar. Okay. Got it from Amazon. You are going to need some scissors to cut the thread. Okay. I like these days. They really get into the thread when you want to cut it. They're curved scissors. Okay. And you're also going to need your... um frame, embroidery frame, and I also use this too to make sure I'm aligning the shirt up with it right, okay? And you're also going to need some, um, either some cutaway or some tearaway. This is cutaway. Okay. So, let me go ahead and show, and also you're going to need a sweatshirt. Here's my sweatshirt for my son. It's a size medium and for kids. I already um, went on ahead and took the, um, first thing you, you can iron your shirt first, it can be flat. I'll take the lint roller, get all the lint off of it. Okay. And then um to um what I how I do it. Everybody do theirs different. But how I do it, I basically put the um I go ahead and put this go ahead and put this in. My a little thing okay squeeze it in here and make sure you put it in straight so it won't um move while you're embroidering because this is going to be a really detailed in-depth um picture so it's going to be a lot of stitch <clears throat> okay now it's in there it's going to tighten up right here you just take it right here and you screw this tighter right here I'll just take it and screw it so it won't move. As long as it's tight like a drum, you should be good. And if I use tear weight, I use two tear weights. 
okay so if i want to use here you can use two tearaways and then make it sturdy you have to use you have to use this embroidery stabilizer or it would not work okay so make sure you get this i get this from uh, hobby lobby or you get it from amazon too if you, if you get one a whole lot of it okay so now you need to make sure that this is centered and what i need usually do is take my um shirt or whatever I'm using and I fold it in half then I iron it so it can be right in the middle okay I really apologize about that um alarm going off the detector okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and iron the uh, line in this and I'm right back Okay, now you can see the line. If you can't see it, it's there. <laughs> I got the line right in the middle of the shirt so I can know where the center is of the shirt, right there. And then what I need to do is make sure I, um, I'm going to be putting the um, embroidery machine, and hook it up to embroidery machine right here. So I'm gonna put this in here like this so it can go um, side the long way. Cause I could do it this way, but it's gonna make the image a little bit smaller as far as the width. So if I make it this way, it could be a little bit longer because he is short. But if you had a long body, if he had, like since he's wide like this, I'm gonna go this way, okay? Since he got long shirt, but if he was long, like a long, any narrow thing, I would go this way. But read on matter because it's a kid's shirt, so it's gonna be a good size no matter what. But for adults, I like to use it, um, I, I use my bigger machine um, for my adults, which is a six by 10. And this right here is a five by seven, okay? So now that we have this, I usually take my um, a pencil or a pen. I just make a line from here to here. You see, this is the middle of the um the tray, and this is in the, in the middle, center too. So I just take a pen and just eyeball it, just so I can know where the center is. Okay, here's the center right here. So I'm trying to make sure this is where the the um the design is going to go. And I'm trying to make sure I have this right in the center. Okay. So, with that being said, I usually go three inches from the neckline. So, I usually put it about right here. You can see that? Three inches from the neckline. I put that. Well, it's going to still be three inches anyway after I um, place this one here because of where it's going to start. It's going to, so basically the middle, no, it's not. It's going to be the middle. It's going to be like this. So, it's going to start right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and go down three in, three um inches down from the neckline should be right here and I used to take a piece of um you would take a piece of chalk or something so you can know where to put that back put the star at so let me get my pen I have like a um Cricut washable ink pen I'm gonna put it right here so I can know where to start I don't know if it's gonna show on this black or not because you can get some white chalk also yeah, it's a little stain right here. I'm gonna put it right there and it should be fine. So I can be able to see that. Okay. Okay, now I need to go ahead and put this in here. But I'm still gonna take it back out after I'm gonna spray it. But I'm gonna just, I like to play with it before I spray it, before I get all that spray all over the place. I like to play with it just to see how it's gonna look. Okay. Right there, because I'm trying to center that dot up with that line that's on this little thing on this on your um rim. Okay. Everything looks good. But now I'm going to go ahead and spray it. So I know this is where I want it. I usually spray it on the floor, but I'm going to go ahead and spray it right here so y'all can see it. Don't put too much spray on there because you don't want the gum your needle. Okay, so I'd like to put it all over this over here. Get a good spray on there. Stuff is strong. I like glue. <laughs> so you just place this sweater back on here, the hoodie right back on here, how you want it. Make sure it's still centered. Dot is right there, cool. And I just basically pull it how I want it. So I can just stretch a little bit and then just rub. Okay, rub it on here so it can stay. Let it dry for a couple of seconds. Okay. Now I'm going I'm doing this video kind of fast because I don't want it to be too long. So this might not be centered, but I'm trying to tell y'all how to do it. So if I do it wrong, then y'all should be able to get it right. Just take your time. I'm trying. I'm doing it, but it just seems like it might be a little off. But I just don't want to. You had to really take your time and be patient with this, okay? You don't want to um 
go too fast. And like I said, this is for my son, so he's gonna wear it no matter what. And then sometimes you can center it by the tag of the shirt. So I see the tag is right there in the center, so it looks centered to me. But um, a little dot and my line disappeared that quick. So next time I know I'm gonna use some chalk. Pretty sure that's, that's still that's still only three inches, so that's still cool. And for kids, it's not supposed to be only one inch from the top. <laughs> Ah, I'm going three inches because I'm always doing the dark. So please forgive me. It's supposed to be one inch from the top for kids. So with that being said, I will move it up, but I'm not. It's for my son, so he'll be all right. So just note that it's not three inches for kids. It's only one inch. From the neckline. That's where the design supposed to start. One inch from the neckline for the kids and three inches for the adults. Because of what size shirts you have. Okay, so I'm just moving it around, just letting it dry. It looks centered to me now, but we'll see after it's <laughs> done. All said and done, okay? So the line is still there. I can see it, and it's, it's a little off. But it's going to be okay, yep. So it's, it's going to be off, because my line, as you can see, I'm going to show you. The line, you can see the line that I um, put in there with my ink pen is right here. Okay, and it's gonna need to be centered. So it's, a little, it's not that far off, so it's cool, but just make sure you've had a line on there so you can be able to make sure your stuff is centered. If you're setting something, you wanna make, make sure it's centered. But this is for my son, he gonna be all right. And if it's not centered, you can always move the, um, the image over some on your, when you put it in the inverter machine, you can always move it over some. Okay, so I'm about to go ahead and show you, how, go to my inverter machine. Okay, here's my machine right here. I am using the PE 800 Brothers. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on first. It's on the side right here, you turn it on. And as you can see that this little, um, this box right here is gonna show up. I don't wanna move the camera because I'm about to show you how to thread this machine. So I push the button. You might not really see it because my light is on. There we go. Okay, so then it says, be careful because it's moving to move. So then I push the button, it's moving. Okay, so make sure this is clear. I mean, this, make sure it's in there because it will mess up something. So make sure that's not, the um, your um tray is not in there. Okay, so um, I know the word tray is not the right word to use, but I'm gonna use it there because I can't even think of what it is. Okay, I have my UBS in the machine and now I'm just gonna go ahead and push this button right here. And it should just pop up. Okay, it's right here, the first one. But you better see what it is when you do it, okay? So now I'm gonna go ahead and push set. See the picture right here, it's, it's there. The screen is kind of small, so it's gonna probably be hard for you to see it, okay? And then also has it rotated to how I wanted to have it rotated. Then I go ahead and push sides. I'm gonna make it as big as it can get. So this is to have, make it go in and this is to make it go out. To see the arrows going out, that means it's making it bigger. So I'm gonna go see, make it as big as I can. So the big as I can is gonna be a 4.82. I'm gonna make it as wide as I can, as long as I can. I'm, I'm so that's like, let's see, well, wide. I'm sorry. Okay, so there it is right here. So it's gonna be a 5.67 by 5.8. So now everything is set. So I'm gonna push OK. I want it's, it's centered the way I want it, right in the middle. I don't need to move it nowhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the shirt on the um, embroidery machine. So when you put this on, make sure your, your um, foot is up so you can better slide this in here. It's really kind of tight. I don't understand why they make it so tight because you know we got to put thick things in here. I'm, I really want to get a bigger machine, but I'm just working with this so I can show y'all the ones that do have this single needle machines. I'm going to try to do a couple videos before I get my new machine. They are not cheap. <laughs> so then I got to hook this right here into, onto these little pieces right here. Make sure it snaps in. But I love my um, PE800. Um, PE it works a charm. It's, it, I never had no problem with this thing. I love it. It's kind of dark, but the light is not going to work for me right now. Okay, so this shirt is stuck on here really good. And I just basically remove it around so you make sure it's good and it's not under your embroidery tray. Okay. 
You can also use a lot of different things to hook these, to, um, to make sure these won't get caught. Let me show y'all what I use. I use these little hair clips because <laughs> they, they're really big and bulky. You can roll this up so it won't get in the way. Make sure it stay out the way of the needle. Okay. Make sure everything is out the way. Look under it. Make sure it's not under the tray. Okay. So now we need to um, come back over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and check and make sure I have enough space. So to make, the, make sure you have enough space, you just basically go to this little um, air bro um, on my machine. It's the, um, you just go ahead and push edit, in edit. And then you'll see this little box right here. I'm sorry. You'll see this little box right here. It's like a little uh, a square and it has an uh, arrow on it. And basically this is to tell you how, if you got enough room, you'll push that button and then you push this right here. You can see that button. Push it and it'll go around and see how much space you have to embroider. Oh, it's going way over there. Ah, yeah, it's getting caught. Oh, it's kind of tight. Okay, so I gotta baby, I gotta babysit this basically. I'm gonna say it's gonna be a huge design. I had to babysit this because it's going way over here, which is gonna be fine. But you know, I might bring it over just a little bit because it's, it is going kind of over there, kind of far. It's not coming over here that much. Let's see how far it goes over here. Let's see. So you can check and see how far it is going over here by just checking the box. Let's pop. Oh, that's real close. I'm gonna show you a little bit of when it starts, then I'm gonna go ahead and fit, um, change it. I gotta put the thread in there first, y'all. <laughs> Let's go ahead and put the thread in there. So I'm push OK, embroidery, and then it's gonna tell me the first color, which is going to be, I think it's gonna work with the skin first. That's the skin. 13 minutes on the skin, so let me show y'all really quick. Right here it says, Right here, if you can see that, it tells me I'm gonna start out with 13 minutes for this brown color right here. Right here, it says I'm gonna 13 minutes for this brown color, then eight minutes for this color, 14 minutes for the white, then 18 minutes for the black, and then it goes more. They go keep on going down. Right here, it says 69, 65 minutes to stitch this, y'all, with nine colors. I basically use this little um, thread rack back here because I like it better than putting it up here. So I put this down here like this and bring it through here right here then i bring it through like i said all machines most machines are almost the same but it has the numbers on here like one two three and then it go down okay and then go back up so like i said it's had your numbers everything there for you to do on your machine to show you sorry my machine Then it goes down, then it goes into the little number six, push it over, go up to seven, and go over and cut it. Okay. Okay, so now it's in there. I'm gonna sit down here and babysit this thing so I won't mess up. I'm gonna start it and then I'm gonna come back. I gotta push the, the, the uh, foot down. The green light means go. Stab my finger. Push the green light. We can go. I should have brought up some, y'all. <laughs> Way too low. 
It don't look like it on the screen though. On the screen it said it shows me that it's right there, right there. But nope, I should have brought it up. So. Start everything out for you. I'm gonna go ahead and let this um do his face because it's gonna be a long video if I don't. So um you see how it started out. Doing his skin, his brown skin. And he's telling right here that I have 13 minutes on his brown skin. Sorry. 13 minutes. I'm gonna sit here and hold it and, and, and look at it to make sure it, everything goes. I'm doing the second thread change. This is the second brown on this picture. I got this from Etsy. It's filed from Etsy, so. His name is Juice World. Ooh. So I'm just doing a second thread, and I'm gonna show you right now how it looks too. Um, from the first, from the first finish with the first thread. As soon as I finish threading this. Okay. Okay. So this is how it looks now. Got all the skin on his face on there now. Now we're gonna do the dark, the dark outlines of his face. Show you the rest of it. Like I say, the only thing I'm gonna be doing now is basically every time the um color stops, the, th the change the thread, the whole machine stops. It stops, change the thread, and you push go again. So that does that for nine nine times because there's nine different colors in here. Okay, so it's gonna stop nine times, change the thread every single time, and then you'll be done. As you finish the last color. Okay, so we're only on our second color now. 
um, it's gonna be eight minutes. And the next color, gonna, our third color will be 14 minutes. The fourth color will be 18 minutes. The fourth, fifth color will be six minutes. There's more, like I said, nine colors, nine changes. And then we'll be done. So I'll be back when we're halfway done. Show y'all the progress. Um, I did the shirt, the white shirt, now I'm doing the hair. It's kind of black, so you're gonna be able to see the hair that goes, but it's almost done. So the hair is gonna take 18 minutes, it's almost done now. And then the next thing is gonna be the, the brown part of the hair. It takes six minutes. Then the blue part of the hair, or gray part of the hair, I'm sorry. Then it's gonna take about a minute. Then the um the outlining in black will take three minutes. I think that'll be it. So we got um we did four colors out of nine of the colors, red changing. And then it's uh, we did 54 minutes out of the 65 minutes, so about 10 more minutes. Okay, this is the red count. We'll be almost done. Got about 10 more minutes on this thing. Okay, I'm done with the black. That's pretty cool, y'all. Isn't that cool? I would not recommend, well, I know people probably do try to um do a, a dark shirt or sweatshirt in this um machine it's really hard doing this size medium shirt for kids my son's 10 is a medium youth shirt and it's very hard i really have to hold this down to one um sew on top or whatever i already had a mistake down here when the um thread got caught on, on, the, on the um sweatshirt right here so i had to you know pull it out with the um thread cutter little thing right here so be very careful. It's really hard doing this, um, doing bulky things on here because you really got to, you really don't have that much space, okay? So, um, I like doing the bigger stuff on my machine over here, but I just want to check out. I like the way my, this is the, um, Envious, Innovis NQ1600E, the brother. Um, I just did a sweatshirt on this one, like I said before, and I showed you the a picture of it, but, um, this one. I wanted to just test because I love the brother because I never have a problem with the brother on um, PE 800 because it really, I mean, I'm as far as the durability is so fast and it's, I mean, it's not, I'm not going to say it's too fast, so, um, really fast, but it's durable. I don't have to worry about needles breaking and stuff like that, but this one, I was breaking needles and I'm pretty sure, I'm, I think I had the wrong needles at first. I think I was using regular needles and I wasn't using embroidery needles, so <laughs> that's my fault. But so that's why I really, really was, that's why I really wasn't using this machine because it kept on breaking needles. But um, now it's doing better since I found out that maybe that was the problem. Duh, that was the problem. So, um, but this has a bigger hoop. This big, the hoop with this one is the six by ten, and um, I can do bigger things. This one right here only comes with a five by seven, which I could do kids stuff, towels and stuff like that. Okay, but let me show you the shirt real quick. Here's a sweatshirt I made for myself on the um bigger machine, the six by ten. And this is okay. I like this because look, it's it's a it's a uh, small image as far as the height, and the width is 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 small. It's long because of the way the tray is, the way the embroidery thing is. Let me show you. This is the um, embroidery frame right here. And see how much more room? I could have made it a little bit bigger, but I, I didn't. But it probably would have did about this much more because it don't go all the way to the edge. It only goes to. Let me show you. 
here's the little thing that goes into so it's only gonna come it's only gonna be able to go from over here about this much it won't go no farther on this side and over here to go over here so yeah i should have went on ahead and did it bigger but i thought i had it at the max but i see i didn't so this is the frame right here that i use for the six by ten hoop for my bigger machine this, you could not put this machine you could not put this hoop in the um p800 so i like this because but if you have a bigger image it's not going to be if you have like if i put it this way it's going to be really hard to put to basically tuck this sweatshirt over to fit it you can though but it's going to take a lot of maneuverability to make it fit on the machine okay because it goes in the machine right here okay if you see if you understand what i'm saying it's gonna be hard to put the hoop this way and get all the way down here because of the it connects the machine right here okay so that's why i did it this way and i put the machine turned this way and i could be able to flip the shirt took the shirt that way so i can be able to put the, the words i hope y'all it's kind of confusing but as you can see what i'm saying right here how i got the shirt turned this way so you can be able to put the hoop on here so it's gonna be hard to put the shirt the um the correct way to make it um embroidered okay but I like this shirt. When you find images like words and stuff like this, or images, small images that you can um, do on this kind of this size, it's great. I'm gonna try to do. Um, let me show y'all what else I did real quick on this on this machine on this hoop, the six by ten hoop. Let me show you. So as you see these, I put these on my wall. I like the way this one looks. This is long, so this is a look nice on the sweatshirt. But like I said, when I turn it this way, it's gonna be hard to maneuver that sweatshirt to make it embroidered. Unless I turn the image sideways and it won't look right sideways, it's got to go up and down on the sweatshirt. Okay, so um, I didn't put this on the sweatshirt because I was this was I just I, this is what I was just I was just starting on working on the um embroidered machine, so I just played with it. This is just basically denim fabric, okay, just to um work, just to practice and play around with it. But I love the way this came out, this is so nice. I did some Etsy got this image from Etsy so this will be hard to put on a sweatshirt because it's too long and it won't look right if they turn the shirt sideways but this will be look right on towels pillows and wherever bags stuff like that but it's gonna be hard to maneuver on the one needle machine but I will try that let me know if you want to see that on a bag or either on a pillow or whatever let me know and i can try to do that and see how it works on that machine i would not be doing this on the um pe 800 though because the hoop size is too small this is the eight i mean six by ten hoop okay yes i love that i really want to put it on the shirt i want to give me a, 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 a multi needle machine so bad now this right here um the same way you cannot put this on the sweatshirt because if you got to turn it the other way now the, my thing is using words so you can turn words the other way to make it fit all on the um the sweatshirt if you turn it the other way so i wouldn't put these images on the shirt well this right here can go in a this right here can go five by seven hoop is gonna be way smaller than that okay but it's gonna be hard to put this on the bigger hoop because you got to turn your sweatshirt it's gonna be hard but you can use towels anything else you can use like towels or anything like that that'll, be, that'll work so right here is a long image and i did this all also on the eight six by ten hoop okay so that's the reason why i just played with this and i put it on denim um material just to play with it just to see how i love i love embroidery just look at that detail i had this made for me i got i went to um fever.com fiber.com they did that for me but this right here i got this from etsy and i got this one from etsy okay so let's go back I'm gonna go ahead and start doing it here and I'll be back. It's almost done. That's what it is done now. That's the last stitch. Um, as you can see, I don't know what happened to his eyes. His eyes didn't stitch right. It's like stitching the wrong spot. Well, you'll see that in a minute. But look, we're all done. So I'm gonna show you how it looks after I put it on the table only thing i need to do now is just basically I snap it from the um bread machine pull it on out and i'll show you how it looks with the um stabilizer and everything on the back okay here it is and as you see his eyes i don't know what happened but it shifted over that black right here supposed to be inside that white part right here and this right here supposed to be over here in that white so i don't know what happened to the to the image it shifted i don't know, understand why 
I didn't bump it or anything. I don't know why. So I'm gonna try this image again, and it's, and it's on another, like probably a tie or something. See if that happened again. But I'm glad this is my son's shirt because it wasn't. I would be jacked up right now because the eyes are not where they're supposed to be at. Let me show you a picture. It got again how it's supposed to be, how it's supposed to look. Again, this is some guy my son wanted to put on the shirt. It was on Etsy, so his name is I think it's Juice World. I don't know. He passed away. He was a rapper, so I did a shirt for him. But here's a shirt, and yeah, his eyes is jacked up, but it's gonna be all right. My son, I know he's gonna notice it. <laughs> so let me show you how I take it off the um. Basically, this is the um I use cut and the, the cutaway stabilizer. So what you gotta do is basically take it out, unscrew it right here. Cause you could, if it was tearing away, you could have just tore it out. It would have came right out. So what I do, just do an unscrew a little bit, pop it on out. And as you can see, oh, this looks really good on the back. It looks really good on the back. This is how it's supposed to look. Um, you're supposed to see more white, which is the um, um, bobbin thread. And then this, it really, it really did really good. Like I said, that um, E6, I mean that E6000, <laughs> that PE800, really, really is a bomb. I had no, no, um needle breaks or nothing it went through this shirt and it did really good i mean this sweatshirt so let me go ahead and get my scissors and cut this out you can tear a little bit it's still it's cut away but it's really tearing a little bit these duck scissors so i'm gonna cut my sweatshirt this is for my son so it's not gonna be too neat okay get as close as you can and they also have patches you can use so you won't so it won't touch the skin you could put like heat bond on it and cover this up so he won't scratch his skin but um let me see how it works for him if he if he itches then i go ahead and do that but right now i'm not okay cut as much as i can off of here just using these scissors just to so it won't nick nick and um nick the sweater sweatshirt i'm saying sweater y'all yeah, sorry okay just cutting around it like so And that's good enough right now with this for this video okay so let's go ahead and flip it and see how it looks oh it's not too bad it's really small to me but for my son <laughs> and i know he's gonna say mom why is it so small <laughs> get what you get don't throw a spit so um let me go ahead and get my limb roller you can also iron it down and i have a lot of thread i need to cut but i'm not gonna do this in the video because it's gonna take too long video already long but, um, I'm trying to clean it up so you can see it a little better. It is kind of, oh yeah, it, sh it shift a lot. Like, I don't know what happened, but it shift. Like, this thread is supposed to be um, outlining this piece right here. So, it, just, it shift a lot, y'all. So I don't know if it's the art or did I do something wrong as far as the, um, I moved it or something. I don't remember me moving it. I didn't change the bobbin. I don't think I had to change the bobbin the whole time I was doing this shirt. Maybe I did. Yeah, let me show you real quick what I'm talking about. So like right here. This line right here is supposed to be outlining the shirt. And this line right here is supposed to be outlining this part. So yeah, it shifted. And the eyes is messed up too. That's the only thing I can tell is the eyes and the um shirt. The neck too. Oh yeah, this whole thing jacked up. <laughs> because I'm glad this is for my son. Because this is supposed to be outline and it's not all it's all this all messed up you know what it probably was too close to the um edge of the um of the um embroidery tray because it, it must not have enough room and it just shifted all this up because it didn't have enough room to go down i guess but it's gonna be okay it is small compared to how the big the shirt is i could have went up some it's not, it's not three inches up above the um rim of the shirt the neckline, I'm sorry. The next time I know to make sure I put this, um, let me show you what I'm talking about. The next time I will put, this, I think I did this on my other, I did this right on my other sweatshirt that I did. I showed y'all earlier in the video. I did it right. I just forgot to do it this way because I'm, every time I do a video, of course I mess up. <laughs> so if I were to put this up here like this, it would have been up here much closer. Okay. But I, was, I, I think I went, I put this three, I put it down three inches. And there, and it brought, brought it right here. So that's what I did wrong. So next time when you do a sweater, a sweatshirt or anything, make sure you put this next to the um neckline, okay? The edge of it next to the neckline, and it'd be it'd be okay. If not, just bring a, a one inch from the neckline, and then your your um image should be a little bit 
closer to come down here further because of how it starts how that gra graph shows you where it starts at because here's the graph right here see it would have started right here which would have been perfect i would have put it an inch away from the neckline i'm gonna write that in my notes i do i do take notes i basically print this out and then i basically put down the, the name of the, the number three that i use and the color so i know what you use next time if i don't like this shirt i know what not to use because not to use okay so now i know to make sure i put i do it again make sure i put the um embroidery thing like a um an inch away from the um the nigger line so i know okay um because it's too far down and um very very small so let me show you see how this is the frame see how much size how much it did see it's, we still have more room to go this way but we didn't have no room at all to go up or down okay and they didn't give me no more room to expand this way far the either so it wouldn't let me go and go over anymore so yeah but we had the top the max size this way and it's all it would so let me show you how small the image would be if you're doing the five by seven see how small it is so if we did not five by seven let me measure it real quick that's why i said if you're looking for to do bigger images do not buy the eight do not buy the PE 800 because it's not going to do any, no images bigger than this unless it's long. Okay, like the word might be a little longer. But let's see, this is a five. And this is a, so it's five by five. Okay, so that's the image is five by five. And I'll turn it this way. Now, if I would have went this way with it, it would have been impossible because this is how we hook up the machine. Put this to the machine right here and there's no way we could do this. There's no way you could do this, okay? But you have to have it this way so you can put it up through this shirt this way, okay? Okay, so I hope you understand what I'm saying. I don't know, today my tongue is tied a little bit, so I don't know. I'm just stumbling over my words, even though I talk fast. I'm just not, you know, not talking too good today, so I'm sorry. I apologize. Um, so, with that being said, this is how big your images will be. So, don't think you're going to get a big image if you're using this um, PE-800. If you want to do shirts and stuff, I would, I would prefer you to go bigger to a, a bigger machine a bigger embroidery machine okay but i still love it um to cut some of these stitches out you have to take the scissors and just cut around it i mean cut out the little lines that don't need to be there the thread that is not let's see i'm telling y'all cut out the thread that does not all the jump stitches need to be cut okay doing that right here the scissors i like to do these small scissors or you can either use a, a, a thread cutter which would be much better with this because they're um small stitches so let me go ahead and get a thread cutter which is right here which much better to use this just just put it right under the thread that needs to be cut much better easier to use okay if you like to comment in the video please subscribe to my channel please like this video even um share with your friends your crafting friends that's looking into embroidering looking into buying this pe 800 so you can show them how big the images are they don't so you don't waste your money if you want to make bigger things i'm in the process of looking to buy a six needle or a five needle machine so i can do more things i just love doing crafting do different things that i can expand my business with um i just bought the um large formatted sublimation printer so i want to learn more about that um printers the epson SC570. I have videos on that. But I also have the smaller printers too to do sublimation. So if you can afford the big printer, you can check out all the videos with the 7710, 7720 sublimation printers that I use. Epson. Check those videos out. Um also check out my videos where I have my other my bigger embroidery machine. That was more expensive than this 800 too. But right now the 800 is kind of expensive after that um pandemic. It's everything is expensive now. Even the 7710, 7720 Epson printers are more than I paid for. I paid $100 for them before the um, pandemic. Now they're about $1,000. Close to 1000 And Like the 800 I paid $800 for. No, I paid $500 for my a, for my PE800 embroidery machine. Now it's about 1000 I think, too. So everything went sky high because everybody's doing their own, you know, getting their own business, running their own business at this pandemic because, you know, their jobs and stuff is out. Everybody run their business and everybody um going up on their prices for everything you need to have to run your own business. <laughs> so it's crazy. 
Pick up my Etsy page, Charming Girl Boutique number two, where I do all kind of, I can um, design whatever you want, personalize it, whatever you need. I can add photos on your images, photos on your products, your name, personalize it however you want. I look at every, every, everything, y'all. Check out my Etsy page. One more thread right here. I have TikTok, so check out my TikTok. I do a lot of crafting videos on that. I have a Pinterest page. I have an Instagram, so all my links is below. I also try to link everything that I use in this video below so you can go ahead and go to Amazon and, and pick them up. Order them on Amazon and the links below will um is the affiliate uh, links so I, it will help my channel out if you purchase from those links and I appreciate it. Alrighty, here's my son's shirt. Let me go see what he say about it. I'm about to go get him right now. Just one second. I'm coming out here. He don't know you on video. Let's see what he say. How you like your shirt? You done? Yeah, I'm done. How you, how you like it? You messed up. How I mess up? He not, he, he not light skin. Okay, what about, you, know, you like the shirt, Shane? I just got a different color thread. What color, how you like the shirt? Good. Like it? Okay, cool. Everybody on video you hear, heard your response, so. I'll be on YouTube. Bye. All right. Well, this is it, y'all. If you want to see more videos, please just, um, subscribe. Hit that red bell so you can be notified when I do new videos. Until next time, be blessed.